What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the show. So today I wanna to talk about five myths when it comes to social security. So that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. But first off on this channel, we talk about money and retirement. If that sounds like something interesting to you, please subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell notification. That way you get notified anytime we put out a video. And like always, if you see my name and a picture of me in the comment section, make sure you see a check mark next to my name. That check mark signifies that it's me. If you do not see that check mark, it's not me. It's someone trying to impersonate me. Okay, so the first myth that I hear is that I've contributed to Social Security, and that's true. Uh, if you're working, you, you do contribute to Social Security, but people think that there's a bank, like we're contributing our 6.2%, the employer contributes 6.2%, and that goes into a bank somewhere, and that's the money that you're drawing from when you start receiving Social Security. And that's not true, that's not how it works. Basically, it works like this. The 6.2% comes from your paycheck, the 6.2% comes from the employer, and that goes to pay benefits that are currently, that people that are currently receiving benefits. So that's how that all works. And so there's no bank, there's no money that's saved somewhere that's waiting for you to retire and then you can start drawing from that. Uh, that's not how it works. It's not like a 401k or, or something like that. And this is one of the big myths that I hear because people think that there's money that's saved up in a bank and that they should be able to draw on that money when they retire, but uh, that's not how it works. Okay, another myth that I hear, and this is coming mainly from younger people, they think that Social Security is all that they need. So they don't need to have a 401k, they don't need to have any type of retirement plan, all they need is Social Security. And this, is, this will set you up for disaster when it comes to, to, to getting to that point where you retire. And right now, $1,656 is the average that a person receives on Social Security. So that is clearly not enough to live on, but uh, so you need to have other things in place. 401k is very important. Uh, saving money on your own is very important. Investing money, saving and investing uh, on your own is very, very important because if you don't have a plan when you retire, you're not going to have enough money to live off. Social Security should only supplement about 40% of your retirement. So you need to have an additional 60%. The majority of the money that you have saved up and invested for, for your retirement needs to come from another source. Another big myth that I hear is people don't collect Social Security early. So you can start collecting Social Security at 62. Now the, the retirement age is 60, between 66 and 67, depending on when you were born. And that's when you can collect the full amount. And if you go up to 70, you can collect even more than the full amount. And so the myth is that no one will collect Social Security at 62, because why would you do that? You're going to collect less. Why don't you wait until you're 66 or 67? Or there are people that do collect early. And uh, a recent study was, was done, and it showed that 35% of males will collect Social Security early, and 40% of women will collect Social Security early. Okay, and the last myth that I hear a lot is you can't collect Social Security if you live in another country. Now that is a, is a big myth. Uh, you can collect Social Security in most countries, so you're going to need to check the Social Security Administration website to find out what the criteria is. But when it comes down to collecting in other countries, you can. The only two countries where you can't collect is Cuba and North Korea. And I've had a lot of people ask me this because I do talk a little bit about moving to other countries and, and living in other countries if you can't afford to live in the U.S. And so that the first question is, well, I, I can't collect it. Uh, and generally, you can collect it if you have a bank account in the U.S. They can tie it straight to your bank account, they can send it directly through your debit card. Uh, so you don't have to worry about a situation where if you're living, let's say you're living in Colombia, you can still collect Social Security in Colombia. You can still collect Social Security in Thailand, in the Philippines. Uh, so hopefully that answers that question. Now, if you guys have other questions or some myths that I missed, put them in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.